Have you ever heard of Ozempic? As the kids would say, it's all the rage on social media. There's a literal explosion of posts about Ozempic, which is a pharmaceutical medication that was designed to lower blood glucose in those living with type 2 diabetes. But here's my question. Why are people talking about it so much, especially those who are non-diabetic? What do they have to do with Ozempic and why has it become such an important topic? If you go on social media, you'll see that many people are claiming that Ozempic is actually their magic bullet for losing weight. And the results that people are advertising are extremely attractive. If you are interested in losing weight, it's likely to influence you to want to use Ozempic as your magic weight loss tool. Now, you also see that there's plenty of studies that show that weight loss drugs like Ozempic are published in reputable journals online. And people are advertising that losing not just a few pounds, but large amounts of weight. And the best part is that they're doing it without even changing their lifestyle. And they also make suggestions like you can see results about 15% body weight loss simply by taking a once a week injection. And you can start losing weight in as little as two weeks. Now, these are a lot of compelling claims. And this is supposed to be a miracle drug. And because so many people are talking about it, I naturally, well, I got skeptical because that's how my brain works. Now, we talk about it all the time. People on the internet and actually just humans in general are obsessed with fun, fast, and easy results. And that's totally fine to look for, especially since the results are admittedly very strong, specifically when it comes to the use of this pharmaceutical drug to promote weight loss. But the one thing that many people suffer from, and this is in the weight loss world as well as with many chronic conditions, is that short-term thinking can lead you in the wrong direction. If you're looking for quick answers now, but you don't look into the future, then how's it going to affect your lifestyle, your weight, and your risk for many chronic diseases many years from now? Okay, You don't want to be exposing yourself to unknown disease risks. That's why in this piece, we're going to be talking about the science behind the so-called miracle drug, how it works, what are the side effects, and what are the risks that you should know before you even consider using something like Ozempic to lose weight? We're also going to review a lot of the results of these published studies, and we're going to take a big picture look and answer the big question, which is, is Ozempic something that you should even consider in the first place? Are people making the right decision to use it as an off-label weight loss drug? Yes or no? What might be missing from people looking at Ozempic as their get skinny quick scheme. There's actually a lot to unpack there. And finally, we're going to talk about if there's any situation where we would even recommend Ozempic as part of your weight loss strategy or your diabetes strategy. So sit back and let's get started. Now, let's get into the science of Ozempic because it's actually pretty fascinating stuff. The name of the molecule that was discovered by the pharmaceutical industry is actually not Ozempic. That's the brand name of the drug. The actual peptide itself is called semaglutide. Now, semaglutide is a 30 amino acid peptide, and peptides are basically small proteins. And this peptide functions as what's known as a GLP-1 receptor agonist. That's a mouthful. Okay, GLP-1 receptor agonists effectively means that it functions just like GLP-1, which is an endogenous peptide that you manufacture inside of your small intestine. And Ozempic, the semaglutide, mimics the action of GLP-1 and talks to the same receptors that natively born GLP-1 does. It's about 90% similar to the molecular structure of endogenous GLP-1, and it is actually secreted by the L cells in your intestine in response to food intake. Now, the reason why this is important is because semaglutide actually has some fascinating ways of communicating not only with your intestine, but also your brain simultaneously. It does two things, and it involves a bi-directional phone call between your intestine and your brain. The first thing that semaglutide does is it actually distends your gut to make you feel full, such that when you're eating food, it's the same sensation that you get that stimulates your 
brain to say, I'm not as hungry anymore. So semaglutide itself actually activates the stretch receptors inside of your small intestine. And by doing that, it sends a neurological signal up to your brain that says, hey, maybe you should slow down on your food intake. In addition to that, it also slows the movement of food material through your gut. And that into itself causes a small traffic jam inside of your digestive tract, which then also makes you feel fuller. Now, this neurological signal that initiates inside of your gut signals all the way up to your hypothalamus, which is a grape-like structure inside of your, the center part of your brain, right above the roof of your mouth. And this neurological signal is sent from your gut up to that hypothalamus. And it basically says, hey, hypothalamus, there's stuff inside of me. And your hypothalamus responds by saying, oh, that's a signal that I receive when there's food inside of the digestive tract. I'm going to slow or reduce my appetite. So as a result of that, your hypothalamus then reduces your appetite. And then that stimulates you to want to slow down or maybe even stop eating food. In addition to that, semaglutide also increases insulin secretion in your pancreas because when there's food present inside of your gut, then insulin secretion is likely to be necessary because that insulin is going to go act on the carbohydrate molecules and shuttle that glucose into tissues. Now, this is a fascinating biology because it involves multiple different endocrine tissues all communicating with each other, both from neurological pathways as well as from cell-to-cell -cell signaling pathways. And this is fascinating because it highlights one of the ways that humans are constructed, which is called using parallel pathways. And parallel pathways effectively mean that there can be multiple redundant mechanisms to all send a similar signal to initiate a biological response. And what that means is that the semaglutide peptide can stimulate mechanical receptors and neurons that send electrical signals to your brain simultaneously. You can think of it as a bi-directional phone call between your gut and your brain. And the two of them are in coordination to tell you that you're full. And that's a good thing because that means it's going to reduce your desire to eat more calories. And that's one of the principal reasons why Ozempic is so popular because if you inject Ozempic and it reduces your appetite, it's going to make you feel like you want less food because it'll decrease your appetite. And that's always helpful when you're losing weight. Most weight loss programs force you to restrict your food intake and either count your calories or your points or your servings. And this can be problematic in the long term because it actually increases your desire to want to eat food and increases your feeling of starvation. But semaglitude does the exact opposite. It actually makes you less hungry. And by being less hungry, you're more satiated. By being more satiated, you're emotionally less likely to want to take on food. And if you're losing weight at the same time, that makes you feel like this process is just more sustainable. All right, now let's geek out on the science a little bit because there's actually some very important research that was conducted in non-diabetic individuals, which is exactly why I find this study or this story to be so interesting. Now, there are many trials that have been done in humans over the course of many years. The most popular were considered the STEP trials. The STEP 1 trial was tested in about 1,961 non-diabetic patients and was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in March of 2021. In this study, they investigated individuals who were either obese with a BMI greater than 30 or overweight individuals with a BMI greater than 27 with at least one weight-related comorbidity. They tested the effect of semaglutide as a 2.4 milligram once per week injection versus individuals receiving a placebo injection containing no semaglutide. What they found was actually quite fascinating. Over the course of 68 weeks, those that were receiving the semaglutide injection lost a staggering 14 19.9% of their original body weight versus the placebo group who only lost a 2.4% of their original body weight. This is a significant reduction in body weight in those that were receiving the semaglitude once a week injections. And this was the basis of information that led to many other step trials to continue to determine the safety and efficacy of the use of semaglutide in promoting weight loss. Hey, hey, this video was just a snippet of a much more in-depth discussion. Now we know not everyone has the time to watch an hour long video, so I hope that this highlight taught you something helpful. 
Now, if you're interested in watching the full length deep dive, then I highly recommend that you check it out because there's a ton more to learn on the subject. And this is just hitting the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Just click on the link on the screen to check out the full length episode. And if you're already going, whoa, 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 that's a lot to digest. I just want to live a healthy life and call it a day. Then don't worry because we have expert coaches who can help get you true long lasting health that can actually be very simple and be your accountability coach and give you a personalized roadmap to lower your blood sugar, to lose weight and to get off medication for good. Now the science behind health is overly complicated, unfortunately, but getting healthy doesn't have to be. Visit masteringdiabetes.org slash start. Answer some questions about yourself and schedule a free consultation to talk with somebody on our team who's gonna show you exactly how we've transformed the lives of thousands of people using the Mastering Diabetes Method. It's important you answer all of the questions to the best of your ability because we wanna be able to get you the right coach. We have a limited number of spots available and that's why it's imperative to find a good fit. Again, visit masteringdiabetes.org slash start to schedule a free zero commitment discovery call and start taking control of your health today.